back here on the Dean Show. Next one, getting right into it. We went from number five, four, now to three. That Islam subjugates the woman, oppresses the women. Go ahead and take it away. What do we have to say? Well, the best thing we can say is ask Muslim women. You see them in the streets all over the place. You know what they wear. Ask them if they feel that they're oppressed. Ask them if they're putting on this garment because of their husband, because of pressure from the society, or they're doing it out of conviction that they're doing this for their Lord. And so, and if you look also uh, in, in uh, you know, Orthodox Jews, the women cover, the, in Christianity, uh, many different denominations, you'll find the women cover and they cover their head. And I'll tell you something else, you know, obviously when you read the Bible, it tells you that you know, the woman is not supposed to go with her hair uncovered, her head uncovered in the church. It clearly says this in the Shave Bible. Her head off. Right? Well, <laughs> there's one other thing that happens. Yeah. You know, they still do this today. That's why if you look in, in the States specifically, always the woman will wear a hat to church. That hat to church is the remnant, is the remainder of that order to not go into church with your head uncovered. Yeah. So even the woman wears her hat to church, she doesn't really know why she's doing it, but she's doing it initially because people used to not uncover. So now Jew Jews are not supposed to uncover, and the Christian women are not supposed to uncover, but the ones following their scripture primarily would be the Muslims, and so now they're singled out as the ones who are, you know, whatever, oppressed or this and that, but everybody's supposed to be doing that to begin with. Wasn't the church for some time contemplating if the woman even had a soul? Yeah, there were all kinds of issues and if you could, you know, you would inherit the woman and all kinds of things. And while this was going on in Europe and other places, Islam had already given the woman her rights and she was not a piece of furniture and she was respected. But again, it takes, you know, the honest individual who is going to go out and ask questions seeking the truth and seeking the right answer. And if you examine and you can stop people and ask them and speak to them and you'll see the truth that it's not about oppression or anything of that sort. That the